What's good, YouTubers and YouTubettes? This is JB Sports back again with another one. Regis Prograis versus Josh Taylor is now on for October 26, as uh, Regis Prograis has dropped his lawsuit against the WBSSS, and uh, the fight is going to take place on October 26 on the Zone. The co-main event will be Joseph Parker versus Derek Chisora in a crossroads matchup of heavyweight contenders. So this is a good call for the zone. Probably the best uh, fight on the zone outside of uh, Canelo versus Jacobs. You know, this is a good main event and a solid co-main event. So it should be interesting to see. A lot of people was wondering, uh, was uh, Reason Pograve going to drop out of this uh, tournament? He was doing a lot of talking on Twitter with... Uh, Adrian Broner, A.B., you know, you know, A.B., about billions, you know, you know. Yeah, he was doing a lot of trash talking with him, and Josh Taylor got on his Twitter account and said, that, look here, man, why are you trying to fight A.B., man? A.B. is 3-7 and seven in his last 10 fights. And the one fight, in one of those three fights was a split decision fight against Jesse Fargus, and a lot of people thought he lost that fight. So why are you trying to fight this loud mouth? This guy is a, is a never was type of uh, fighter. You know, could have been type of fighter. Why are you trying to fight him? Let's fight for uh, for supremacy at 140 pounds, and let's let's make it happen. So uh, he he did a lot of talking, trying to convince uh, Regis Prograve to uh, you know ignore A B. Yeah, no A B, and and uh, focus on a you know unification fight with him. So look like his own, and uh, they're gonna it's gonna take place October 26 in an epic matchup. Hopefully the winner of that fight will get uh, Jose Ramirez and we find out who is the top dog at 140 pounds. So it's going to be interesting to see how it plays out. But again, uh, Regis Prograve versus Josh Taylor, October 26, O2 Arena in London. It's going to be a good night of a fight in that night. Like I said, uh, Jared Chisori versus Joseph Parker in a crossroad matchups of heavyweight contenders. And that, whoever wins that fight will be... Uh, you know, on the road to uh, one step closer to fighting for a title. So that's going to be very, very interesting fight taking place as the co-main event for Regis Prograve versus Josh Taylor. When that fight gets closer, I'll be breaking that fight down, giving you my prediction. But I like that fight. It's a true 50-50 fight. And uh, that's that's the type of fight that gets me uh, gets me motivated and gets me uh, gets, gets you that anxiousness uh, leading into the fight. Right before they're about to ring that bell on two guys. Going at it, it's going to have, you have that uh, butterflies in your stomach in a matchup like that. That's why I'm looking forward to uh, hopefully 2020 we get Terry Crawford, Earl Spence. That's one of those fights that you get the butterflies uh, tingling. You know, uh, Deontay Wilder, Fury 2 is another uh, fight. You know, these are 50-50 type of fights that, you know, give you the butterflies going into it. You know, I remember back in, uh, it's about, I guess around about 10 years ago, when Floyd Mayweather Jr. fought Ricky Hatton, you had two undefeated fighters. Fighting at the welterweight. Ricky Hadden had just got through running through uh, Costa Zoo, made him quit, and he was on the rise. You know, the UK fans were behind him. He was the first big superstar, you know. The very first really guy to put uh, uh, London on the international scene as he brought a whole lot of Brits over to uh, Las Vegas when he fought uh, Mayweather. They were, they was doing all that. Oh, there's, only, there's only one Ricky Hatton. And they was chanting and all that going on, man. You had them, I had the butterflies before that fight. It was a good fight, man. And uh, Floyd Mayweather was, ever, was able to stop him and uh, knock, knock him out in the water. I think it was either 10th or 11th round. But that was a true 50-50 uh, fight. Yeah, a lot of people thought uh, Mayweather was going to win. But you know, thought a lot of people thought Ricky Hatton and his, uh, his uh, tenacity and his uh, bulldogness was going to eventually wear uh, Mayweather down like it did his other opponents. So... That was a true 50-50 fight. Just going back in the day of a 50-50 fight. So hopefully this Regis Prograve versus uh, Josh Taylor fight will fight will live up to those fights uh, of the past and the fights that's hopefully going to happen in the future. And we'll see how it transpires October 26, 2019 at the O2 Arena in the UK. This is JB Sports, the man, the myth, the legend. I holla.